almost just wait. What? I'd almost just wait for tomorrow. Just wait? For tomorrow? Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't want to waste the energy. the final uh, dig you were on the front there for a little bit on the final circuits yeah we wanted to try and not really control it but stay out of the kind of the, the washing machine the scrum effect um, <laughs> coming into the final and the original plan was at either two k's so like two corners to go or one k we were going to try and just come around on the front um, but coming into the circuits uh, we found ourselves fairly far yeah. up the, the train and it started to get pretty hectic so we just went to the front to try and string it out um, and we were going to try and go you know all in um, but then we got swamped coming into the last lap um, and I started working my way forward again but at that point I was like 50th wheel and just couldn't quite get up there uh, but that positioned Chad and Steve enough that they were at least out of the main hectic kind of surge in the back and so they didn't miss any time gaps they had a chance to challenge although it was a little harder for them to find wheels so, so stay safe today tomorrow I mean we still have three very hard days ahead of us yes yes <laughs> uh, this is probably a little bit of a rest day even though it's really long um, not a whole lot of climbing mostly flat so it's a little easier all right well good job today thanks thanks Long day in the saddle and very hot. How was the heat out there today? Um, you know, personally, it actually wasn't too bad. Like, I did a whole bunch of sauna training in preparation for this. So, yeah, just tried to, you know, trust in trust in the training I've done in the sauna. And, yeah, I didn't, didn't really kind of cook myself too much, which is good. But I'm sure the boys in the right would have been a different story. <laughs> and so uh, it, we tried a little bit in the end there with Rob and uh, Eric and also Kaylor at the end there, but at the end of the day, just a, a safe day for the team looking forward to the next final three days. Yeah, exactly. I think tomorrow is going to be a really good stage for us. It's a little bit more selective in the finishing circuits. Um, but we're, you know, trying to position Steve and, and you know, I think he was close to top 10, uh, maybe just outside. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep uh, chipping away, especially tomorrow, big one for us. Yeah. of stage four Alan a long flat uh, very hot day for the for the guys um, we tried a little bit at the end there but at the end of the day uh, looking forward to the final three days yeah absolutely uh, today was more of a hangout and stay out of trouble in the wind but to kind of hang out and rest a little bit for us we don't have like a big, big sprinter so we tried a little something at the end but I don't know I think Eric might have been in top ten but uh, Still yeah, waiting on results. Just kind of wait, wait for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. How many Much bottles? How many bottles do you think you handed out today? Uh, probably <laughs> just south of 200. South of 200. It's hot today. It's hot. And tons of ice socks. <laughs> and how does that affect the riders for heading into tomorrow? I mean, recovery-wise. Uh, it's tough. I mean, the heat puts a bit drain on your system, but the fact that we did hand out so many today, I think they're probably going to be just fine for. All right, well, thank you. Oh, that's awesome. No, we were, we were 